Hello, everyone. I hope and pray that you are well. Uh, we're moving towards the last Sunday of Advent, and I was just reflecting on what I wanted to share with you uh, this week. Just want to be briefly sharing something that was kind of uh, from the cutting room floor from last week's sermon, so, something that I was considering sharing, but it ended up not. And uh, this past week, we looked at part of, of Matthew chapter 1, the story of of Joseph in particular, but obviously the story of God uh, and uh, the angel, you know, do not be afraid. Um, I, God has a plan for you. Uh, but in that story, uh, Joseph is invited to name uh, Mary's child, uh, to, to name Jesus, uh, Emmanuel. Um, and that word, uh, Emmanuel, many of us know it means uh, God with us, God is with us. And, and so that very name uh, has taken uh, uh, significance in our lives. Uh, so that's right at the outset of Matthew's gospel, Matthew 1. Uh, but I wonder if you remember how Matthew's gospel ends. Uh, when you get to the end of Ma Matthew's gospel, there's there's the great commission. That's kind of the, you know, the pinnacle of the, of, of the, the end of the gospel. Um, but then it there is this kind of sentence that maybe can be almost missed, right? Uh, Jesus says, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. I'm with you always to the very end of the age. So right at the beginning of Matthew's gospel, we've got Emmanuel, God is with us. Right at the end of Matthew's gospel, we have Jesus reassuring us that I am with you always to the very end of the age. And then the rest of Ma Matthew's gospel includes all sorts of uh, aspects of Jesus' life and how God with us makes a difference all across the board in every facet and aspect of our humanity. And then how Jesus' life and his death and his resurrection are how God comes near to us. And one of the things we're invited to reflect on during this Advent as we approach Christmas and as we consider Emmanuel, God being with us, as we consider what it means for God to incarnate, you know, make himself flesh and, you know, live among us and move into the neighborhood. Um, one of the things that we're invited to think about is how the model for Jesus is one that we're invited to follow. And so the way that Jesus lives and moves and has his being in the world is a pattern for our discipleship. Um, and we see God incarnating, moving to the neighborhood, living in a holy fashion uh, where he finds himself. And then how we, uh, through our life and work, which is all ministry, are invited to have an incarnational presence, uh, to, to enflesh the values of the kingdom in all sorts of ways. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of have that as a thought, an invitation, a challenge, an encouragement. That the God who comes to us um, in Jesus Christ as Emmanuel, the one who is with us, also promises at the end of Matthew's Gospel, and surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. And throughout Matthew's Gospel and throughout the Gospels assures us that, that the very present to us God, namely Jesus Christ, uh, makes a difference in everything that happens. And then invites us to consider uh, how we can live our lives in such a way uh, so as to mirror this incarnation, to mirror this uh, Emmanuel life, this God is with us life. And so I, I call you, I invite you, I encourage you uh, by this gospel assurance, this gospel claim, and the words of Jesus. The peace of Christ be with you all.